This video will explain dark energy and dark matter by explaining a universal process of energy exchange with gravity being a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. This can be seen mathematically with both gravitational fields and electromagnetic fields sharing the inverse square law. In this theory this represents the dynamic geometry of a universal process that is interactive and relative to its environment. In the matter or atom based environment of our everyday life the forces that bind us together are far too strong for the dark energy to have any effect. This process is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy relative to the atoms of the periodic table. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light we would be able to see that everything is radiating photon energy continuously. This process forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we see and feel as the continuum of time. The wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons are forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. This might sound very far-fetched but it can explain not just why we have the effects of dark energy and dark matter it can also explain why the universe seems to be fine-tuned. The observer has a special place in time the observer is always in the moment of now in the center of his or her own reference frame being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. Time and space are part of the same geometrical process in relativity with Einstein's idea of space-time with the rate that time flows and the curvature of space relative to the energy and momentum of an object. Therefore, if the observer has a special place in time, he or she must also have a very special place in space or in space-time. In this theory, the universe is explained as a continuum of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. Each observer is in the moment of now, at the forefront of creation, with the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of their own actions. Whatever galaxy the planet is in that the observer observes from, this unique position in the interactive process that forms space and time will be maintained. It is because each observer has this unique position in space and time that the universe looks like it is fine-tuned with the galaxies accelerating away from us in all directions at ever greater rates of acceleration. On the very large scale with very little matter in the form of atoms this process forms negative pressure pushing the galaxies apart. Because this is a geometrical process we see the same dynamic geometry throughout the process from the very small to the cosmological scale. We have the future unfolding photon by photon with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. The electron is the most spherical object in the universe and at the most fundamental level this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. At the very large cosmological scale we see spherical voids with the formation of galaxies on the boundary walls of these spherical symmetries. In our everyday life the same process is unfolding at a much smaller scale because it is relative to the atoms of the periodic table. In these images from the International Space Station we can see that a candle flame in near-zero gravity forms a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. We see the same spherical geometry in cell life with the build-up of positive and negative charge across the membrane of the cell. And in nature, when this symmetry is broken, it forms the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. It is no accident that a similar spiral pattern can be seen in the structure of galaxies. It is formed by the same process. The only difference is, instead of being relative to the atoms of the periodic table, it is relative to plasma and electromagnetic fields. 
We don't have to leave the solar system to see a similar spiral with the sun's rotating magnetic field acting on the plasma in the interplanetary medium. This spiral forms the largest structure in the solar system and is not just relative to energy and mass of the sun. There is not enough mass in galaxies to maintain their rotational spiral shape and stop the stars spinning off into deep space. To explain why galaxies are not breaking up, mainstream physics has come up with the idea of dark matter. Dark matter is just a name. We don't have a clue what it is. The only thing we know is that dark matter does not shine like a star or reflect light or give off detectable radiation. It just creates a gravitational pull. The geometry of dark matter in galaxies required to explain the motion of the observed matter suggests the presence of a roughly spherically symmetric concentration of dark matter in the center halo with the visible matter concentrated in the central disk. In this theory there is no dark matter and the only reason why mainstream physics needs a concept of dark matter is because they are missing something absolutely fundamental in the way the universe works and how the inward force of gravity is formed. In this modified theory of gravity, with gravity explained as a secondary force to the electromagnetic force, dark matter and dark energy can be explained as two sides of the same coin, both being formed by the same universal geometrical interactive process. This is a process of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation, with the process being relative to their environment in the form of atoms, electromagnetic fields and plasma. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and rate. It will help the promotion of this theory.